Well, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Peaches from Lovers of Healthy Life. And today I'm participating in an exciting collab video, Tablescapes from Around the World, hosted by Elle from Easy Living with Elle and Cindy from Create with Cindy. Now, I have been trying to get back here where I have been doing uh, some renovations, painting, where I'm converting um, our sunroom into a she shed area where I can do uh, my gardening under uh, the roof where I won't get rained on. Now, it's a place where I can enjoy curling up with a good book and also enjoying breakfast and lunch with my husband and doing entertainment in an indoor outdoor space. Now I'll do another video of this area over here where I installed my potting bench and I'll show you how I sow my seeds. So here is my finished project and this theme is Garden Escapes. So I use that room as a guideline uh, just to create this space. And this is a sunroom that I converted into more or less like a she shed. It's a dual purpose room and I'm gonna be using this for gardening and just a place for me to come back and relax and also entertainment. So I gave this room a little facelift, added paint and also the decor pieces. And right here is a four or actually five piece indoor outdoor furniture piece that um, I got from Wayfair.com at a really good discount. And then the plates I picked up from Home Goods at a really good deal. I think there was a couple of bucks for the plates. And then this piece right here, um, I really wanted the one from Pier One, but I wanted to save a little money. And I got this from LDT, L, LTD Commodities, and you get four of these for 11 bucks. So I really saved some money right there on the little placemats. Now the only actual piece that I did pick up from Pier 1 is this terrarium. And I really did want this particular piece. I thought it looked lovely in the space. And I used my discount to actually pick that up from Pier 1. And right here, I'm really excited about this pumpkin. Pumpkin right here, I grew right outdoors in my garden. Can't really see it from here. But anyways, uh, this is a Cindelar pumpkin. And this particular one it looks small, but it's actually nine pounds. So this is one of my smallest ones that I grew, but I think it's so pretty. And I polished it with olive oil because that will uh, preserve the life of the pumpkin and this ivy right here I picked up on our property I just cut some ivy we had ivy growing walls all over our property here and I really love this little picture my daughter gave me and it says the south the place where tea is sweet and accents are sweeter summer starts in April macaroni and cheese is a vegetable y'all is the proper noun Porches are wide and words are long. Pecan pie is a staple. Chicken is fried and biscuits come with gravy. Everything is darling. Someone's heart is always being blessed. And I just thought that was really cool. So I thought it fit real perfectly. I didn't really want to hang it on a wall. So I put it right here at the end of the table and it fits really nicely. And I just love the way uh, the arrangement turned out. And I have my little baker's rack right here that I actually picked up from amazon.com and I'll put a link if you're interested in the baker's rack. I just thought it was really cute. It actually comes with this uh, wooden shelf right here. So I thought that was a nice um, design. And then also it comes with this back rack so you can hang different things on the rack. Uh, right over here will be the seating area. I already have my chair. It comes with a cushion actually. Waiting on my little uh, love seat bench is actually the same color as the chair and um, it'll be really comfortable because when my mother-in-law comes she loves It's really comfortable. These chairs right here are super uh, duper comfortable. Uh, it's not wood, but it is wicker But it's the re uh, resin. It will last like totally forever I really don't like the wood wicker because you always have to repaint it and it doesn't really last and it also peels But this stays nice forever. For example, we've had this particular table forever um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this piece right here. I, I might try to Spray paint it, just not sure. Um, right over here in this corner of the room, I have my potting bench, and I'm gonna do a separate video on my potting bench area and tell you a little bit more about what's inside my storage and how I store different things that I use for my plants. And look at this massive pumpkin. I actually grew this and um, I picked this the other day, and it is 
35 no 25 pounds this one right here is 25 pounds I do have some larger ones growing I have several videos I'm gonna be doing I'm going some tomatoes and planters I'm gonna be doing a whole video on what you can grow indoors and let's see I'm also growing some ginger I have some ginger plants growing right here and they're doing really well and this right here is Malabar spinach it's doing really well I have three of them actually that's growing and over here in this corner are my avocado trees that I'm actually growing by seed. So I have one, two, um, let's see, I have three, four, five, six, seven. I thought I had eight avocado trees. I think I have another one growing someplace, maybe over there. But anyways, um, and then back there, that's how I start my avocados. And this right here is longevity spinach that I'm growing, a baby longevity spinach. And I have some blueberry uh, trees, uh, blueberry plants I'm growing right here. And over in this corner is my moringa. I just recently cut back my moringa tree, so it's doing really well. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, sunroom slash she shed slash potting shed uh, makeover um, video. And I would tell anyone to start with the inspiration room because it makes it really easy if you can start with the inspiration room because that way you'll know what you're looking for and how to design it and how to set up your room uh, to your liking so, and you can find an inspiration room on pinterest or uh, instagram i just happened to get the pure one uh, magazine in the mail and i knew right away that's what i wanted to use for my inspiration room and i was thinking about it for a really long time because i was telling my husband that i wanted my own little she shed and and then i knew he didn't really have enough time to actually build one not right now anyways so i just said well i'll just make do with what we already have which is this space back in the back of our house that really wasn't being used for anything and I have a little bit more that I would like to do to the space but I think it turned out okay and this is a English garden country garden escape um, theme that I have going on and I really enjoy putting this together and like I said having an inspiration room really made it simple and easy